It's me. I'm here. It's 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 Artyom Havoc. Your your favorite friend. <laughs> wow, that was uh I don't know what happened there. But we got it. We freaking got it. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> I hate it when that happens. It's been a while since we've had like an issue that I had to restart the computer for. Uh and who can say really why? Um, so I need to, real quick. Stream begins. Thanks, Chaz. Um, thank you, everybody. You stuck that out. I just need to activate two more programs. You know, it, it really does take a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot that gets this stream going. And it probably takes about yeah, 15 minutes on like a leisurely uh, get everything set up to make sure it all works. Close. Um, hang on. Okay, good. Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, if you, if, I'll show this off real quick since everybody's here. Um, just all the things. All of the things that can go wrong. Somehow. I think I can do it this way. Okay, so, sorry about the portal to hell. So this is the OBS. It's, you know, it's whatever it is. There actually isn't as much here as some would think. Um, I use a program called Groupie. That allows me to put everything in one, one window. So I can drag it all around with me. But the stuff that runs in the background here, so there's voice attack. It's here and always listening in case I, you know, tell it what I want it to do. Lumi stream, this terrible piece of shit program. So every time I fire up, I fire this all up from one thing. I click this, and everything except for stream pie launches with that with that icon, right? Handsome haircut. Thank you, Pi Udial. Um, this this launches these four programs. Unfortunately, it takes OBS a long time to to launch up. So I have so it never like detects it here. So I have to toggle this one on and off, which is just annoying. Not the end of the world. Um, Leoran boards here. It typically launches in the right order. It sees connected to Twitch, connected to OBS, and everything's good. This one because it's like I don't know, like a Java wrapped whatever. It won't actually launch with that shortcut. Um, so I have to launch it manually and then just. You know, basically, you get, like, a program here, um, and you just have to drag it in. So I have to drag and drop that, right? It highlights red, and then it's in there. Yeah? Um, so, you know, once that's in here, and you have to do this at the right order, otherwise you have to come down here, go over to plugins, and tell it to reconnect. So this has to launch, to be less annoying, it has to launch after OBS, right? Um, and this runs... You know, this runs my, my touch screen, right? So, you know, whatever. I don't have to do that, but this is, you know, where all the stuff is to add all the stuff to my, uh, you know, the 21-inch touch screen that's over there. Which really is being underutilized because I'm still waiting for the final version of, you know, 1.0, wherever it is. Um, uh, but, yeah, so... That's that's the disaster that that is all of this, and it takes a while to get it all started up, um, you know. But really, the only thing. Damn it! Okay, let me let me do this, because uh, we were talking about this on J stream last night. Really, the only thing that I have to do every day besides launch all that stuff is come in here, select this for today's game. Uh change this text, right? And everything, I've just spent so much time making it already. And if I can... If I can, do this. Okay, wow, that was... That was annoyingly loud. Let's get out of studio mode. Um... Hey, I'm back! <laughs> so 
so that's that's the rundown of every day um it's it's not that bad like once you get um i think jay was here yeah jay's here um because you were asking you know about that yesterday and it, it becomes habit after a while but it always seems like i forget one thing in that um i did have a checklist at one point i hated filling out the checklist so i stopped using it <laughs> hey rain welcome in my sunshine friend i love that transcoder hype i got transcoder today hell yes why did i get so lucky uh for those that weren't there I went on a massive rant at the start of the stream because it took me two hours to find a camera kit. Yeah, yeah. Setup, setup sucks. It does. I am doing wonderful, Rain. Thank you for asking. I hope your day's going well too. Um, my back it still hurts a little bit. I'm probably gonna take tonight off. I'm probably going to take tonight off and not do an extra stream, and I'll hopefully be good enough to do that next week. Um, what a VIP. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Lil' Fizz, I think. I need to go through my VIP list. I need to add some people. I'd add everybody, if I could. I think the more followers you have, the more VIPs you, you can add. I think I'm at, like, 50 or 60 VIPs, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, so I'm glad we, we diverted the crisis today. After 100, I went from 10 to 20. Yeah, yeah. I'm not jealous. Just going to unsub Lilith. <laughs> um, so yeah, I probably won't stream tonight. I'm planning on that. Let's just say I'm not, and I'll make an announcement later because I want to spend a little bit more time, you know, in bed with a heat pad. I'm fine doing like a couple hours, but that, you know, all of that time is sitting in the chair. Just, I need, my back needs more of a break. Because uh, it hurts. But yeah. So, today's game, Guacamelee Gold Edition. I know Sean put in the like Super Turbo Turkey Puncher Ultimate Championship Edition or whatever, but um, I popped a few achievements in this at one point, so I want to play this one some more rather than pop a few achievements in the other one, if that makes sense. Personal, personal thing. <laughs> Everyone who comes by and hangs out is genuine. Yes, exactly. Exactly. I just really need to spend some time in there. Can't wait to give you a do donations. Uh, yeah, rest up for the 6-4 round table. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, okay, so let's, let's do some shout outs real quick. On Monday, next Monday, I'm going to be hanging out here with our friends Seeky Wisdom, Haggard Hessian. Um, Bearded Bogle. Lady Gamga? She's going to be there too. Anybody else, Seek? Who else is going to be there? Um, so Monday. Uh, earlier in the morning than this. So like 11 p.m. Pacific time. We'll be there having another, like, you know, small streamer roundtable discussion about random things. 11 a.m. Pacific, yeah. So if you want to come and hang out, awesome. There will be an announcement on my Discord. <clears throat> and, um, yeah. So that's a big thing. But I am going to spend, like, the rest of the day just doing the one-hour stream and taking it easy. Uh... I've also been putting that time into Cyberpunk 2077, which, you know what? It's picked up. I'm into it now. Um, you know, if I'm going to have to be, like, sitting with the heat pack somewhere, I might as well be doing something, and that's what I'm trying to get through. And I'm enjoying its story now. Uh, it's no more buggy than any Bethesda game, so it's just a normal video game at this point. Uh... But yeah, take take anything I say with a grain of salt, because I'll enjoy just about anything. Hey, DC Bueller, welcome in. My friend was just telling me, it's been long enough, go play and finish Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it too. Uh, because I'd like to move on to Near Replicant and the Mass Effect Legendary Edition for sure. 
or go back, <clears throat> excuse me, and restart Control or finish Metal Gear Solid 5. So many huge games. And I'm just kind of in gridlock on Cyberpunk at the moment. I also need to go back and give another shot to Doom Eternal. Oof. Thank God I get to finish games in the extra streams. <laughs> but thank you everybody for being here. Um, there is a box today. It's an interesting one if you guys want that. Otherwise, uh, we're just going to start in with Guacamelee. Doom Eternal, you gotta finish too. Yeah. Once upon a time, there were video games, and they were only for hardcore people. And then the filthy casual started coming in, and they wanted games like Plant vs. Zombies. No, I'm just kidding. Video games are video games, and I don't give a shit who you are. If you enjoy video games, that is awesome. I don't care where you play them or what kind of game they are. Filthy casual. <laughs> so this is a really neat box. Um, that is a Best Buy tag. This is actually my wife's box. Video game box, I mean. Um... You still enjoy Bejeweled and Hamster Ball? I don't remember Hamster Ball. But anyways, phrasing, I know. I know, phrasing. So this is a neat box. I remember I remember the day she bought it at Best Buy when she got... I think she already had her Mac. It's like, well, why is Box on stream? Plus they, uh, they had Scraven, a musician, for the longest time. Scaven. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So this box is really cool. It's Windows and Mac, which, you know, honestly, not that common. I don't think EA owned PopCap at that at this point. But it's a flippable box. So here's the zombie. Here's the plant. Zombie. Plant. Plant. Ooh, zombie. But this side is the only side that has a flap that tells you about the game. Because there's nothing, you know, there's no, there's no details on the back. But I think that's my... Yeah, exactly. See? She knows. Also, this is fun. I like that. But here you go. Zombies. You know, jock zombies. Farmer zombies. Whatever zombies. Here's your zombie eating and destroying plants. There's this guy. Remember him? So, I've, I've dabbled in this game a little bit. Uh, tower defense. Not exactly my favorite thing in the world. Um, but I would spend some time playing it on stream at some point, so... I think I have it on Steam. It's just a great... Yeah, yeah, there's no denying that. I mean, this game has charm, and it has, you know... People still think kindly of it, so it has longevity. But check this out. So yeah, okay, so here's, here's you know, the Mac and the Windows, you know, requirements. There you go. It doesn't need much. Like, it really doesn't need much. Hey, Sean. Yeah, I don't see anything here about Electronic Arts. So Electronic Arts must have bought them after that point. But check out the inside of this thing. Look at that. This is weird. Like, this is super weird. Oh, and this was at the very end of small boxes. Like, what, what year was this? 2009? I mean, this was at the very end. This was the rise of Steam. And, like, that box is too faint. Exactly. Oh, look, they actually hid something in here. So, brains and stinky, this was actually hidden inside. That's cute. I like that. So you pull out this very odd piece of cardboard right here. This is the only box I've ever seen anything like this in. Um, and you got, here's your installation instructions for both Mac and Windows. Basically, you know, pop it in. But look at, look at this, like, accordion. <laughs> so you pop out the CD here, and you pull that out. Look at that. This is genius, though, right? The accordion insert's not a bad idea. Exactly. No, it keeps the box shape. It's got pressure points. You know, this box won't, you know, won't do that with it in there. It's beautiful. 
It's really a shame that nobody thought of this before the very end of cardboard box games. Because this is cost effective too, right? This can't have cost much. So, you know, here's the CD. Obviously cheaper than jewel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, you know, paper mostly you could make you could make most of this out of recycled material, but you know, here's your disc. Got Win and Mac on it. Super cool. I appreciate, you know, dual executables and not having separate boxes, honestly. But yeah, and when you're done, you just slide it all back in there. Which is super cool. There you go. Genius. And we'll get this in here, too. I'm going to slide that in from the back. <laughs> he said out loud on the internet. Uh-oh. There we go. But yeah, Plant vs. Zombies. I'll play it on stream at some point. This will be a one-hour stream title, because I've never really committed to this game. Uh, and I'd like to, because, yeah. See? See how strong that is? Yeah, you get a little bit of give, but that's supportive. Isn't that nice? My wife was so excited to get to this game that she just, like, ripped the top of the box. Tisk tisk. <laughs> Oh, you do have 20 plus years to play it. Sure, yeah. Also, this box is so vivid, bright, and colorful. Um, it almost makes everything else on the... Um, it almost makes everything else up here look so drab, honestly. I mean, there's some bright colors in there, but... This is all sunshine. <laughs> Uh, and I see the emb embossed face shine. Yeah, exactly. Here, sure. Yeah, it is. Like, it's really subtle, too, but this is, you know, embossed. This is really amazing how nice this, this camera is. Okay, but let's play Super Melee Gold Edition. Super Melee. Guacamelee, Jesus. Jesus Havoc. My new favorite shirt is coming soon. What t-shirt? What did you get, Rain? Or is it a secret? A surprise. Nice. Yeah, this this cardboard is cool. Honestly, man, I'll bet I could I bet I could add that to some of the boxes back there. Um, and give them more support. Like Hitman and Descent. I could probably make this easy enough and hold it in place. I might do that if I ever have a million hours of free time. So, never. <laughs> Alright, let's kick this one off. So we're going to play this in Linux today. Because there is actually a Linux build of it. It was weird. It didn't want to take the controller right away. So I had to force... Hey, Grizzle B, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. Thanks for bringing your friends over here. But, <laughs> hey, Haggard. I was just complaining about you for something. I don't remember. <laughs> or no, no, I wasn't complaining this time. I was talking about um, Between Two Beards on Monday. I love that emote. I love the Grizzle Bee emote. The heart. There's some really good hearts on Twitch. Let me... Okay, before we get started, let me fix one thing in a text file that has to do with the uh, the promotion thing. Let me just zero that out. Um, and, then, and then we're off. We'll play the game. One of the things I forgot to do. Stream files. The arm board. Receiver PC. All right. Gone. Tomorrow said it today. 
All right, let me uh, let me let me clear this thing out real quick too. All right, we're ready to go. Welcome in, Grizzlebee, and thank you so much for the raid. I don't know if you got caught in an advertisement or not, but thank you, thank you. Um, and let's do some shout-outs while I get this game fired up. Um, Lilith Rain Alpha. Well, you guys, you guys know who. Let's just do that quick. You know, True Tonys and the whole crew. So you guys do that while I get this fired up. I appreciate it, mods. Thank you. These are all fantastic people, and you should definitely be following them. Definitely be following them. <clears throat> because they are good and kind people. And I really enjoy them in my space, and I enjoy hanging out in their space on their streams. Except for Haggard. <laughs> I don't know why I pick on you. <laughs> the, the, the ninjas, it? yeah. All right. Guacamele, we're going to start this over because I think I have a previous save file here. So new game. Actually, let's go to options first. So we are using the Linux build. I'll just get rid of that. Everything else looks good. Sign controllers, controller. You can remap the keyboard, but not the controller, I guess. Beard boy bashing. <laughs> I love you in my space. <laughs> Alright, let's overwrite everything. This game has incredible art and really, really good music. Juan? Are you home, Juan? Juan, wake up, Juan. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Language. Oh, there's no subtitles. Damn it. They called him Juan. I've decided in the future that when when French subtitles are available, I'm going to start including them in games. Um, you know, for reasons. Have you seen the new game that came out last week called Mighty Goose? I haven't heard of Mighty Goose, no. Where am I going? I feel like you could have built your house better. You're finally awake. Noon is upon us and the sun at its zenith. Put Mighty Goose on your list. Uh, awesome old school graphics. And a homage to Metal Slug. Nice. That actually does sound kind of nice. No time to sleep the day away. The D Del Las Muertes festival is nigh. I have no idea what that sentence meant. Take some time and compose yourself. I could use your strong arms at the church. Once you've brushed your teeth. Oh, the music is banging too. Yeah, where's the music in this game? Objectives, go to the church. View map, here we go. Wow, he hauled ass. Um, brush teeth? He did tell me to brush my teeth. That poster though, of the girl. <laughs> okay. Well, there's nothing in here to interact with, so let's just get out, I guess. Hey, coffees. Day after Halloween. Dia oh, okay. Day of the Dead. Gotcha. Huh. 
I know a little bit of Spanish. Just a little bit. How's your back feeling? Uh, did the heat packs and whatnot? It still hurts. Um, I'm still really uncomfortable. Like, even right now. Um, but I'm not super worried about it just for an hour or two. Um, I did... I am canceling my extra stream tonight. We'll try to get back to those next week. Because I don't want to sit here for, like, eight hours. Um, so I'm going to be in a reclined chair in the living room. Just with a heat pack and working on Cyberpunk instead. Um, hopefully I can get that finished this week. That'll be alright. <clears throat> There's the music. I was starting to get worried. I, I have concerns about the architecture of this specific world. Hello. This guy was like, personal space, get back. Me and Potter, good vibe. Thank you. Thank you. Hey Juan, the lunch, the Luke, Lucadors are practicing for the upcoming Dia del Le Mortes tournament. I can't let you pass. Okay, fine. We'll go this way then. Is the architecture is too much to suspend disbelief? Hey, Dragon Gem. Dragon Gem, can we get a shout out for Dragon Gem? She's gonna stream two days a week now, which is awesome. It's the addiction. Once, once it gets you. <laughs> Juan, I have a fiesta soon, and I don't want to be short on tequila. Oh, sorry, Juan. I'd love to invite you, but it's luchadors only. The addiction is real. See, Sean knows it, too. It certainly is quiet in the house these days. I can't bring myself to get rid of her favorite toys, though. So I kept it in the cellar under the stairs. Oh, no, I can't get down there. Okay. Well, who? The Happy Hongo. Organic Mushrooms. I guess I can't jump that. Oh, wait, I can get up here, though. Go talk to this person who seems to be trapped on a roof. Hola, Juan. You remember my son, the Luchador? He caught three bandits trying to steal holy water from Frey. Oh, yay, yay. Frey, what? Okay. Uh, good luck getting down from the roof. Since you don't have a ladder. Havoc needs a nap. I know, I know. I was just thinking to myself, because Sean actually put the the big improved version of this game, the um, Super Championship Tournament Edition, and I was just thinking to myself, maybe it had full voice acting, whereas this old version doesn't. Um, but I had already, like, I had played some of this previously, and, like, popped six achievements on it, so I figured I'd just play more of this one, and maybe beat this one eventually, rather than pop a couple achievements and the other version? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. See, bite-sized words, this is this is easier. I don't know what my deal was yesterday, but I was struggling so hard to read. Hey, Retro and Sarocitor. Welcome in. He wouldn't have picked this one. Well, I didn't play very much. It wasn't very long. So this is A-OK. -okay. And it's been a while. I think I only played it then because I was in the Serious Sam community and somebody had made a Serious Sam stone skin um, and I was just trying that out. I think it was like Harry 2K15 or something that made it. Uh, it's true, I was a real mamacita in the old days. You better believe it. Okay. <laughs> I think this is where I'm supposed to be, in the church of Lu luchadors. Hola, Juan. Thanks for coming to help. 
I'm trying to clear out some space here. We're expecting people to come from all over for the festival. Even El Presidente's daughter has returned from La Universidad de Santa Lucida. Enough gossip. Could you bust up those empty wine barrels over in the corner? Ooh. Wow. I almost punched a strike. Bonjour. Um, what strength? I knew you had it in you. El Presidente's daughter always said she saw your potential. She's such a nice girl, and I'm so glad El Amba the, or the Ambassador's son uh, is out of the picture. That's the extent of your French. I'm trying to learn a little bit of French. A little bit. It's learning a new language um, gets harder the older you get, uh, is what I'm finding, finding out. I spent... I've, I've said this before, but I was working on learning Russian um, before COVID. Um, and I went so far as to label a lot of things in the house with their Russian words um, and pronunciations. Um, and then... I don't know. I kind of lost... The, the extra time to do that and then like I was paying for uh, lessons online and I let that lapse but I never went back something else gets oh boy yeah true <laughs> I mean I wouldn't know anything about that but maybe um, but I also like I set out to learn a language that's the hardest language to learn going from English buenos noches hey how you doing Jabu Seek, get out, right? Bonjour, mon ami. Hey, Arnie. I took a year of Russian in college. It can be a tough one. Yeah. Yeah, I was still in, like, the very basics. I was trying to work on the alphabet. I actually, um... I have a keyboard floating around here somewhere that I replaced all the keys. Well, I put stickers on them. Um, to be in Russian. Um, and I had all of my operating systems with the ability to type in Russian, so as I was learning it, I was typing it all out. Um, I mean, I, I was I was going pretty hard, like had flashcards and everything. Um, and I may revisit that. I just, it's been a year since I last got after that. But, brother-in-law is fluent in Russian. Uh, he went to Russia. Oh, it's been nice. <laughs> But yeah, I may I may sidestep Russian because I kind of want to learn a little bit of French. But that's at my age. Because I, I I learned I learned quite a bit of Spanish at one point, but I haven't practiced that since I was nineteen. So that's pretty much gone. Pretty much gone. Cantonese, nice. Wish he had his language abilities. Yeah. Uh, I can't speak it. Know enough to say I don't speak it. There you go. I just, I, you know, I basically just wanted to be able to go into the, uh, uh, the Russian deli down the street and order in Russian. You know, the uh, kachapuri and the pierogi? Uh, and get out. <laughs> Remember very little. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't use things, they go away. For sure. Alright. Back to the game. Him and El Cabinet Minister's wife. What a scandal. Oh boy. Hello. Hablando del Rey de Roma. Uh, look who's appeared. It's a beautiful dress. Hello, Frey. I want. Frey asked me to stop by today. I didn't expect you to be here. Uh oh. Juan, you look so. Remember when we were kids? We used to go into so get into so much trouble together. Wow, that feels like a long time ago now. 
You should try. No. Nope. Nope. No accents. I'm doing my best here. <laughs> Speaking of the king of Rome. Speak of the devil. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Thank you, Seek. Perfect. That's true. That's 100% true, Rain. Now we're going to see, now we're going to see if the code works. Hey Quintet, thanks for contributing to the, uh, um, the channel point challenge. My family came to the U.S. from France. Oh, really? 1682. Yeah, actually, um, from what I understand of my family, I'm French, German, and Irish. I don't really think anything's, like, predominant over the others. There might have been some Italian in the mix, too. Gotta do something with them. There you go. That's gonna be, you know, if we, if we meet that challenge. Um, hunting, and I can only whisper into the camera, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get like a, I'm gonna have to get like a voice meter to make sure that I stay in acceptable like levels. Um, I'll probably also have to turn down the camera because it's gonna be like right here the whole time. And I'm just gonna try not to be like, oh, we're hunting rabbits the whole time. Permishlian? Oof. Uh, no. <laughs> Whatever that word is, no. Came over from Poland in the 1900s. One third French. Yeah. You gotta have a heredi heretic calif calculus, aren't I? Exactly. That sounds like a race of someone's deviant art furry avid. Yeah, yeah. Permishlian? Permishplushian? Yeah. Um. But more importantly, I'm just having. Okay, a uh, long time ago now, you've really grown up. Anyways, Frey, I found those chairs you were asking about. I'll bring them over later. MacLad has showed up. Nice. Welcome in, MacLad. That is achievement worthy. Nice. 100% Earth. Yeah, exactly. Mostly human. What if, what if I what if retro interocitor? I was like, that's not entirely true. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Chaz says, speak for yourself. That's the way to do it in style. Yeah. Reminds me that I haven't raided anybody by going into their chat first and all capsing Habit kicks in the door and then hitting the raid button. I haven't done that in a while. I think I've only done that twice. I don't want to do it every time. But sometimes, you know? Thank you, Dragon Jim, for contributing points. So there's only one place that I can see you guys are contributing points, and it's not where I'm reading chat. So, I know I've been missing some of them, and I'm sorry, but thank you everybody that's putting points in. I'm actually not sure where we are in that. Juan, could you come by the mansion and help me carry them? I'd really love to spend some time with you. Okay. Knock, knock. It's the F yeah, right? Just kidding, it's me. <laughs> uh, if you want, maybe we could even go to the festival together. Perfect. I should go. Hope to see you later, Juan. Bye, Frey. Wait, was it Frey or Fry? Now I'm not sure what I was reading. Hey, Hairball, welcome in. I hope you're having a lovely day. Artyom, did you see the, what game recently got released on consoles? No? What? 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 Tell us. Now I've got to wait for chat delay and I'm all hyped. They still haven't added community goal to mobile. Huh. 
boats are enabled on mobile now. I saw that the other day. No. No, really, Matt? All right. Not the reborn. Are you serious, though? No. All right, hang on. Hang on, we're all going together. We're all going together. Where's a dino hunt link? No. What? Okay, hang on. Hang on. You guys know I just spent money, like, trying to get the classic Dinosaur Hunter games, right? Uh, I'll just go here first. Hello? Can we go? Store? Let's do that then. Why? 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 Alright, fine. We'll do this then. <clears throat> oh you said steam right oh you said on consoles it's a remaster oh so it's this one here um yeah yeah all right I played a little bit of this when it came out like right after it came out and then I got sucked into arc and never really went back to it um, but the carnivore games, there's something I, I've really been craving. Um. Hey, Epic. Welcome in. Yeah, you're here for the tortilla chip. Man, I am craving some bean dip right now, like you would not believe. So. I actually kind of got this one working in Linux. The original carnivores here. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to screw everything up. We're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. Yeah, we'll just start that. So I got this one working a little bit here in Linux, uh, but I can't, I haven't been able to make it like bigger. <laughs> See what I mean? Like it's, uh, but you know, it's here. So we are going to play this at some point because I loved these games, and I mean, I loved them. Um, also, this is the same engine and developers as Chasm the Rift, and we all know how I feel about Chasm the Rift. Um, you might even recognize the textures on the shotgun model, right? If I could make this bigger than it is, I would straight play this on Linux. How's the back today? The back is okay. Can't you tell why until larger the resolution? Shh. I haven't been able to with this one. Um, I think it also crashes really hard when I leave it. Maybe not. No, maybe not. Um, like I said, I need to play with it more. I do have it running in Windows 10, but I was really unable to get it running in Windows 98. Well, I can, but it's not a good experience. Um, but it might be more feasible. I'd rather play it on the CRT. Don't get me wrong there. Uh, it might be more feasible to get the other computer working with that Rage 128. Um, but yeah. Give me a second. I'm not even sure where I put where I put the carnivore's disc. It's around here somewhere. Um, but it wasn't on the shelf I thought it was on. Anyways, 
Uh, yeah, so Carnivores is a game that I'd like to play through. I don't think it's going to be the hunting game. I think that that one is going to be Hunter Call of the Wild. Um, I think that one's going to be Hunter Call of the Wild, um, with a couple, <laughs> uh, with, with like a couple interludes of this. Redneck deer hunting, because, dear God, you guys remember that this was a damn thing? Woo-wee! Thank you, thank you, Goodwill, for providing me with all of this quality content. The nostalgic sounds. Yeah, oh my god. I so much... I... I did! I did! I played Redneck Rampage probably in December, I want to say. Um, it was far more difficult than I thought it would be. It was alright. It, it runs particularly poorly. Kind of everywhere. Sweet shovelware, I love it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Well, hopefully I didn't break the game that was running in the background. Also, that was pretty cool that I just ran two games at once, right? Uh-oh. Hello? Oh, here it is. Um, so, oh, wait, hang on. So, this link that you sent, Matt, that I opened up and left here. So, this is, this is the same game that came out in 2015. It's just on consoles now. That's cool. I think at some point we'll just we'll just do a run through of carnivores. Um and we'll also put some time into this one. I'm still looking for big boxes of the first two carnivore games. Um I haven't found them. I just have like a DVD case that contains the first two. You'll hunt some dinosaurs on the Gulf Switch. I really, you know, I did like. I did like the the remake quite a bit but like i said i just got sucked into arc survival evolved for forever i kind of forgot to go back and then had my dinosaur fill for a couple years <laughs> 300 bits arnie thank you so much thank you so much for that I super appreciate your support. You have no idea. Hey Juan, didn't you hear what she said? Now's your chance, if you know what I mean. Oh ho ho ho. This is better than watching my televisionis. Tell, tell, tell no, oh wait, hold on. Heli novellas. What? Question about today. I thought Guacamelee was supposed to be an action pack side scroller. Uh, what with all the reading of the st I know, I know. Hang on, Chaz, hang on. We'll be alright. We'll be alright. How many times do I have to tell those kids not to play the fireworks? TV dramas? Sure. Plot. Anybody else used to watch, like, the, the Spanish channel when they had cable? Um, just to watch soap operas? I used to make up things in my head for what was going on. Um, and it was nonstop entertainment. <laughs> Just for the hot chicks. Seek, Seek knows what's up. What's Kayla? I know, right? <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. What was I saying? Yes, El Presidente's daughter. You should really go and see her. Okay, so she was. Objective. View map. Let's go. I haven't, I haven't had cable in a very long time. Hello? Hey, what's up, Juan? Some chairs for the festival? Sure, I'll just... Objective, rescue President's daughter from the burning mansion. El Pri... Ay, Dios mio! Uh, the President's mansion is on fire. Do something, Juan. They made it sound like this. he was like in a faraway land. Apparently, he's just here, in town. 
He used to watch the French channel for Asterix and Obelisk as a kid. I don't know what that is. I'm just going to jump over his head. La Mansion del Presidente. You've heard of it, never seen it? Sure. I don't know why it's doing that twice. That's fun. Oh! Someone is trying to play hero! <laughs> You're far from the fields, Agave, Agave, Agave boy. Punching time income, exactly. About halfway done on your PS2 project. What was your PS2 project again, MacLab? It's doing it twice because the community project redeemed. But it has been sadly erased. I know, it's supposed to it's supposed to pop up in chat. Um, every 15 minutes. I don't know why it's popping up twice though. Um, it should be randomized. So so right now two people redeemed it, Rain and and Haggard. So it should be random which one comes up. Because we still haven't figured out how to add it to the end of this guy. I have to go. Good night, my shining friends. I love you all. We love you too, Rain. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. And I hope you have a great night. And I'll see you soon, I'm sure. I hope the button is working out or not. Let me know. I can take a look at it again. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see tomorrow if it's still doing double like it is today because that's bizarre. I'm not going to dedicate a bunch of time to it right now either. At least I'm going to try not to. You're far from the fields, Agave boy. This is no place for you. Juan, run before the zombie skeleton gets you. Oh, he's got her on his back. Hello? What are you doing here? I sure wouldn't mind melting those eyes off your skull. Oh my. Look at that flowing hair. That's beautiful. It's like a... It's like the chocolate wonderfall of hair. Okay, that was disgusting. Never mind. Moving on. Grand Palaka. Um... It will be my pleasure to get rid of this intruder. Leave this one for me, Flameface. <laughs> I could use a bit of action today. Valencio! If Jaguar Javier were here, he could be trusted to handle this. Unfortunately, he is occupied. I'll get rid of this puny Jimador myself. The living world may have chosen to forget me once, but it won't, I won't give them a chance this time. I am Carlos Palaca. Kalesa. Kalesa, probably. Uh, you're not even a Lucador. Prepare to die. Ah ha ha ha. Ah ha ha ha. Oh. Special guests. Pre oh, President of the Yeah, why am I here? Can I move? Why would you do that? Why, no! <laughs> hey, Plasma Cheeks, how are you doing today? Cal Aka? Okay. And now it's flooded. Fine day, my friend. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted to hear. Hey, why am I here? Why is everything flooded? <clears throat>
I missed the stream yesterday. What did you end up playing? Oh, we're gonna get a mask. Um, well, we played Shadowrun Returns, um, and it tried its damnedest to put me to sleep. Give me a random. I think you have to do random. I think it's like quote space random. A random quote. Reading Rainbow Shadowrun. Exactly. Exactly. I did. Yeah. Um, well, I just, I got so tired and my back was really hurting. So I just went ahead and signed off. Nice. It'll be really interesting to see how the shuffle works on that promotion deal. Greetings, Juan. I am Tostada. Okay. That's not a person's name. Right? 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 Guardian of the Mask. How interesting this mask has revealed itself to you. Halaka. Has thrown the universe out of order. You must have some role to play. Hey, Backlog Cabin! If you put this mask on Juan, its power will bring you back to the world of the living. Oh, we're in the world of the dead now. We're apparently flooded. Somebody let the toilet overflow. Are you ready? Yes. Give me. And he ascends. Slim Fat, welcome in. How are you doing today? It's good to see you, friend. This game is beautifully colored. I could have probably said this game is colorful and got my point across. Anyways, Luchador, over here. Dental visits, uh, but I live to type about it. <laughs> exactly. Ah, oh, the town's under attack by evil skeletons. They've locked everybody in the church, and I fear they intend to burn it to the ground. Please save us. Before I go, there's a tip if you ever wanted to check your current objective hit back. Now please, go to the town. I'll be pretending to be a barrel. Nice. Second player can join. There's the map. Objective, rescue Frey and the villagers in the church. Okay. Now wait a second. Wait a second. Why? Stop talking to me. Okay, fine. Um, let's just beeline for the church, I guess. Yes. Ah, oh, the music in this is really good. Um, buying this gold edition and probably the newest version um, gives you the soundtrack as well. Wait, did I pass the church? I think I passed the church. Hang tight. Oh yes, the church was up here. Get back, you fiend. Help, help, help. You there, Luchador, save me from this... Um... Tostada. Well, let's turn the right direction. Hello? I don't... Did it want me to use a direction prompt there? Thank you, my son, but we aren't safe yet. They've locked all the town folks in the water closet. Sure, sure. Nice! Hairball might finish cosmic Cosmo's Cosmic Adventure tonight. Free DC. Haven't heard of that. <clears throat> You're gonna eat ribs and pasta. Be right back. Enjoy that backlog. Oh! 
Okay, so I press Y, and it wants me to... I guess I press a direction there? Okay, sure. Don't let it hit you. Roll to the end. Roll into the end of its swipe attack. So it can... Wow, that hurt. I don't... Okay. Don't let it hit you, Luchador. Roll. That's it. Keep rolling sweat. Okay, so I did that thing. That was it, just dodge. Okay. Now it's real. Alright, so they really want me to time that. Hey, Grady Kirsch! Okay. Sure. Oh, we gotta do. I'm getting the hang of it. Oh, now. Kind of. Got him. Haha! -ha! At last, we're safe. Let's get this door open. Now, please free the town folks. Get out of the door. Out of the water closet. Let's go. We're just going to take it on faith that there were anybody in there. Traverse the forest and get to Santa Lucia. Look for more clues. I can't thank you enough for what you've done here today, Luchador. Still, I worry for the safety of El Presidente and his family. Look for clues in Santa Lucida. I think some of the evil Esquel Esqueletos were headed that way. Godspeed, Luchador. The world is in need of your help. Sweet! Get out of here. Um, I'll show you. Oops, that's the wrong computer. So this is what I have. That was weird. Okay. Um. Okay, here we go. The so Steam, there's a couple different versions, so... This one here, it's DLC here, additional contact, or content, content. Um, the soundtrack is here, uh, which you download separately, um, and then it's in your local files here, under Steam Apps Music. This game has you dancing in your seat, nice. Apparently, I have, well, of course I do, of course I do. I, I own most, most games, okay. <laughs> just dies a little inside acknowledging that <clears throat> there is a huge sale going on on GOG right now um, there's a lot that I want ah, the way you dealt with the skeletons with Magnifico perhaps you could help me with a small problem of mine you see how I don't struggle at these little bite size text blurbs I don't know what was into me yesterday that I was having such a hard time perhaps you could help me with a small problem of mine my home has become overrun with chickens I don't know I don't know how but they escape from their pen do whatever it takes just get them back in their pen punch them throw them it's okay my chickens are the toughest around oh no
No. I'll ban you, Sean. Now I'm looking to make sure you can't do that. Um, I actually... That's toward... Yeah. I actually, um, bought a couple things that I'm super excited about. Um. Well, two of the games that Old School J has, uh, has shown recently. Helicops and Bee Hunter. Uh, because both of those look fun as hell. Um, and I found sealed box of one of them, or Jay found that for me. Can I talk to you again? Do you have anything? To uh, under attack by skeletons. Well, it's a good thing you're on the roof. Um, and there was another one that I grabbed, but I can't think of what it was. Off the top of my head. But they were all like, I all I made offers for all of them for like five dollars, and they all bit. So win win. Oh, I know what it was. So the other one that the other one that I grabbed was Heretic 2, but it's just the jewel case. Um just the jewel case, because I've always wanted to play that one. I played part of it. I had a friend that had the CD once and he let me install it on my laptop and I played it for a bit and it was interesting. Uh, but it's a game that I'd like to spend more time with. Because it's like a it's almost like a Tomb Raider third person game, but in the Heretic Hexen universe. So, that's neat. It is doubling it. The bot is just posting all of them as opposed to the same one twice. Yeah, well, yeah. My company is dumb. I gotta go. Be back. No, no worries. No worries. Alright. I think we're just leaving town now. Agave fields. Fun fact. I'm allergic to agave. My body treats it like food poisoning. Specifically that. Which means... Um, top shelf tequila. A lot. And I love tequila. Yeah, I agree. Well, yeah, so Patron gets me. Um, lower, you know, lower quality, less pure, I don't know. Or it's a different kind of agave, I don't know. Because there's like, there's several different colors. Um, but yeah. That took a while to figure out what was wrong with me. Because I really do love tequila. Like, love it. I mean, I know the joke is everyone's allergic to tequila, bro. <laughs> but yeah, agave in any any drink. Um, so this is my house. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. So I don't think there's anything here for me to get. Just a thing that's still here. I like that I sleep in a hammock. That's awesome. Apparently we'll have to come back here where we can break this. Casa de Juan. House of Juan. Where do you want me to go? Okay. We'll go back there then, I guess. I feel like we're in a side-scroller and I went right. And I went left. Obviously, I missed something here. <clears throat> Maybe I have to go up. Yeah, okay, it's definitely up. This is the part where Sean starts having a brain hemorrhage. That's right, because there was a guy up here that stopped me last time. Uh, if I remember correctly, at some point in this world, you can actually switch characters and use stuff from the... Here you go, costumes. Um, obviously, we're going to switch to Tostada as quickly as possible. 
There we go. Look at that blue skin. It's beautiful. Abilities? Wait, did that cost money? Did I just hear a money sound? No. Oh, it did cost money. Okay, whatever. However, you have never been drunk. What am I hemorrhaging about? Oh, that we just had to climb stairs that had no supports to get to a place to our right. <laughs> you were talking about side-scrolling worlds and suspending disbelief. Hey, old selfie. Welcome in. I trust that you're having a wonderful day. Hey, if you guys aren't following old selfie, he's a fun streamer. This guy is always, always positive energy. Seriously, I don't think I've ever heard him speak without laughing. You limit yourself to three drinks. That's wise. Um, I've been... I'm I'm limiting myself to, like, drinking once a week right now. Uh, just for various reasons, but... It's a struggle. Because I like alcohol. Plus, I brew my own beer. So, it's like... I don't know. I have so much hops in the backyard. And I love brewing and drinking so much. The idea of, like, just not drinking at all. Um, spins me off into all kinds of anxiety. Just because I... Yeah, yeah, you know. You get it. I'm sure. Probably, maybe. Alright, Toast Tata, let's go. Forest Achievo. Del Chivo. Hello. Good. Good, oh selfie. I like that. I like that she stores all of her coins in her bra. But that's where they're flying into. Fun fact. <laughs> oh! Oh, I can pick the jer- Oh. Nice. Like that. Just like that. Oops, I jumped into it. Bye! I wonder if red means they're stronger. That's innovative. <laughs> Throw is the best move of all games. Kaz has spoken. Good, okay, he died. I thought I was going to have to chase him down once I threw him off of a mountain. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I slam him into the ground. This is weird. The, the down attack is weird. This game is gorgeous. I do not want to fight the jackal man. The spotted hyena man. Stop right there, Luchador. Orders of blah blah blah. I warn you, take another step and you'll meet your demise. You want to know more who I am? No. The final days of the earth are shut up. I suggest you return. No. So stubborn, this one. Luchador, you saved the church, blah 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 blah. It pay. I don't care. Oh. Shit. This is weird. There you go. <laughs> Hello. Ability. We have more costumes? This game is gorgeous. Like, it really is gorgeous. Money, 180. Sure. Sure. 
just walk away. So I don't have enough for health chunk L1. Okay. Oh. I'm assuming that hurts me? No. Okay. Fascinating. Let's go. Oh, shit. I'm glad it doesn't send you all the way back to the start. Okay, here it is. Hello? Nice. Nice! What is up here? Oh, no, no, no! That must be an auto save. Yeah, the the downward attack is difficult. Ta-da! Oh, so I can't go down. Neat. Oh, yeah, there's a thing there telling me to do. Okay, I guess we are going down there. Nice. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Oh. Whole day from long jump. Sure, okay. Do I have more money? Not really. Oh, oh my god, a chicken. You know what we didn't do? We didn't go help that guy's house. Hey, dude. It's awesome sauce. Alright. What? Wait. What? It said... Oh, it's left trick. Sure. Fine. Whatever. Oh, cool, so you can do it in the air, too. Neat. God, this game of music is just phenomenal. That is a funky chicken, yeah. Yeah? Ta-da! Oh. See that dodge? I am all that is Luchador. Oh, oh no! I keep forgetting which one is dodge. Damn it. How do we get health back? I got money now. So how about that? A pinata? I got lots of money. Not enough to buy anything. Hmm. Yeah, not enough to buy anything. Oh. Are those Metroids? I think those are Metroids. Yeah, it says Traverse the Forest. Doesn't say anything about that guy's house. World map. Wow. Where'd you look at that? 
Okay. Looks like we're about to El Inferno. Nice. Looks like we're about to make a choice here. I agree, those look like Metroids. Exactly. We're gonna go look. We're gonna go look. Maybe it's something obvious. Hello? Hello? Oh no. Oh no! Okay, here we go. It's programs. Huh. Okay. Self promote again with the commands. So, my understanding of what we've done here is that this should just be every 15 minutes, and I see no reason why it should happen twice. How's your team rants about tech? Um. Hmm. Like. See, everything's getting stored here, right? Nothing's doubled. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> exactly. Cancel that. I don't know. Hey, yeah. You need to add the delay, okay? Um, I saw I saw you say that, but I um I didn't have time. On the other button, sure. You wanna walk me through that real quick? We can all learn together. Then we'll get back to the game, I promise. Which uh which one do I need here? Hey Fractal Mind Mike. Oh, it's empty. Okay, hang on. I gotcha. Three thousand zero zero. So he's at thirty. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. All right, back to the game. Thank you, sir. Okay. How are you doing today, Mike? It's good to see you, friend. I uh, I tagged you in in my Discord, Mike, but I uh, I bought a copy of Bee Hunter. Um, last night I made an offer for like seven bucks or something. You got it on eBay. Oh, Cali, nice. Let's go in here. Hello. Nice, we can actually afford an upgrade now. That's a Chozo. This is a Metroid reference. You crazy luchador. You're a talking goat. Don't call me crazy. Uh, what are you going around making my Chozo statue? <laughs> I've only got like 15 of those things left. Typical luchador. Punch first, ask questions never. What? Oh. Oh, it's a goat man. Behold, I am the great Yue Shivo. Uh, okay. Lord of all man goats. Warrior trainer extraordinaire. And the king of awkward punishments. 
fantastic. Hey, Arnie, thanks for helping. Um, take care, sir. And if you guys aren't following Retro Militia, you should probably do that. If I get a shout-out for Retro Militia, it will be awesome. That's where Arnie co-streams. Now, before we begin, tell me. Is your mother single? Does she have a type? It's not goats. Does she like bad boys? <laughs> okay, then. Explain to me how you got here and don't skip out on the details, especially on how you got that mask. Huh. Palaka. The Temple. El Presidente's daughter. Jaguar Javier. My former student. Right. So he's Obi-Wan Kenobi. Got it. I'll just have to ask your mother out after we save the world. First, we must train the arts of true luchador. The statue you just broke contained a magical power called Rooster Uppercut. Okay. Oh, B to perform this powerful move. Up and B. This move can break red. There we go. Uh, can even be performed in the air. But be careful. If you use it too much, you'll tire yourself out after a while. Now work on that move, kiddo. If it doesn't kill you, we'll continue your training next time we meet. Oh my god. I'm sorry, everyone. It said red blocks only? Why would that put me right next to a... Uh... Oh, I see I'm tired out. So how do you get up there? Oh. Gotcha. Nice. Jump in the shower back in 20. Alright, Jay. They are. They are. Yeah, it doesn't work for that. We're still working out the kinks with it. Let's buy a thing. Stamina chunk. Ooh. No, oh, that's a good question. Three chunks. Let's, um... Oof. I don't know. Um... We'll do health. Pretty. Wait. Did that other one disappear? It got more expensive? What? Oh, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. This one did because it's level two. Okay, got it. We're good. Everybody carry on. Nothing to see here. Fine. Uh. Oh, you know, we can use this to get up here, I'll bet. There we go. This is a little complicated and difficult. Not gonna lie, the way that's mapped out on the controller is not amazing. Knock standing enemies and whoa. Can we not get it?
Ground slam. Nice. Hello, Pena. Nice. I'm over these plants already, though. Not gonna lie. Look. Look, guy who throws bones. This jumping thing is a really weird mechanic. I uh, probably don't have enough. Sure. Come on, let me have it. Oh yeah, there it is. Like, can you got a bone bowling? Let's go. That's satisfying. Not gonna lie. Combo nerd, perfect. Hello, random chicken. Now I can afford that thing. Can I go back then? Looks like I made it to my destination. Santa Lucia or whatever. Let's get that help. No, stamina. In case of I'm not trapped in here with you, you're trapped in here with me. Exactly. Santa Lucita, here we go. <laughs> we built the city on... I must know! What was it? What do we build the city on? On guac and roll. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Pop didn't shout rock and roll. Guac and roll. Yeah. You know what I really want tonight, Apple? Bean dip and tortilla chips. I'm in I'm in the mood. Or maybe just guacamole. I don't know. You think, like, Rite Aid would have, like, the tortilla rounds? So. Just have that as a side with their salad? And they got, like, extra cans of bean dip, too. We've got stuff to make bean dip, I think. I'd rather not have Rite Aid bean dip. Fair. I mean, it's just the Frito brand can bean dip. Yeah. I don't know, something to think about. Also, everybody say hi, Apple. It's back there somewhere. Thank you for going on that journey with us. As to what the fuck we're having for dinner. <clears throat> Why are you running backwards? Why are you laughing? Skeletons just came running through the town carrying some girl. That's so funny. They took her off the top. They took her off. They took her to the top of the town and ran off afterwards uh, to the temple in the west. Sure, okay. This Dia de la Mortes, the dead have truly risen. I'm going to hide in the forest. It's safe there, right? Well, it should be. I killed everything. Everything. Oh, yeah, well, welcome to Santa Lucia. Uh, you, look, you look like you can handle yourself, luchador. The people of this town could really use your help. Don't be shy, you're a hero. It's what you do. Right? Bye. Follow Kalaka and his minions, the Temple of Rain. That's actually... So when I started the stream, the intro scene, that's the music that I had there was the Temple of Rain and its dark world. Oh, variation. That face, look at that. Viva live pin live pinal Not anymore.
I used to be a luchador. You remind me of myself when I was your age. Is that chicken? I have angered the tiny little chicken. That is Mario and Luigi. The Super Hermanos. Okay. Lost Super Hermanos. Tag team. Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, that. I've just come from the from the farm with fresh cheese. Freshest in the whole this does he look like the guy there's like a There's like a packaging of tortillas with it looks similar to this guy. The freshest in the whole world, sure. Bye chicken. Mine forever mining tools and supplies. So that's Minecraft. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Oh. We found a place in a thing. Cavernia del Polo. Polo as in chicken? Welcome, senor. Wait. Not a senor. Um, not a senor. Ah, uh, the Cavernia del Polo is the strongest luchador has come to train. And punch chicken. Oh, yeah, we're not ready for that. Never mind, bye! Uh oh. Sorry! Let's go up this way. No, no. Is there anything up there? Wait, what if I press Y to grab? I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these chickens. They're interactable at all. It was horrible, a band of Esqueletos came storm that must be skeletons. Uh, storming through carrying some poor girl with them. They were headed for the Temple of Rain up on the hill. West of town. Baron Gauss! How you doing, buddy? The man, the myth, the legend. Oh, hey. Nice, endurance. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know what to do with all these chickens. Why can't I hold all these chickens? How's your day going, Farron Gauss? I think this guy's gonna play new music. Our companero de Banda has gone missing. Senor, you must help us find him, por favor. That means please. Nothing compares to the taste of our signature freshly rolled tortillas. Okay. Have you seen El Presidente's daughter lately? Wow. Talk about gorgeousness. Va va boom. Indeed. Doing fine, are you? Just taking a break because you have a headache. I'm sorry to hear you have a headache, buddy. Those are no fun. I'm doing pretty good. Kidnapped by evil Charo skeletons? There is nothing sacred anymore, right? <laughs> va va boom. Yeah. Um. I'm, I'm alright. My back hurts quite a bit, but toughen through it. It's okay, it'll wear off after a while. There you go. I meant to take a little bit of aspirin before I sat down with you. Oh, such a bountiful harvest of beans this year. I have so many. I don't know what to do with all of them. What do I do with all these beans? Tonight, the one and only El Linko. Block? I'll be okay, I'm sorry. That was just really funny to me. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going? You trying to get yourself killed? Asked COVID Chicken. Uh, you must seek our great, noble, handsome, benevolent, wise, irresistible snake. Slaying Combo Chicken. I'd order that at KFC. He's back in town. He can show you the skills you need to enter the temple. Find Combo Chicken of Santa Lucida. Perdón, señor. <clears throat> but we cannot play music for you until our band is whole again. Isabella's Kitchen. Nice. I am desperate. My kitchen is bare. I don't have the ingredients to make my La Grande Enchilada. La Grande Enchilada. My specialty. Uh, if you could bring me some cheese, that would be wonderful. Is it going to be like this now? Like, we're just done fighting and we're just going to be fetch questing around the town for a while? And getting lost? Oh, getting lost. Super Siesta Inn. Hello. Presto PPC's here now. It's good to see you. How's your day going? My brother has a nasty habit of getting himself stuck in impossible situations. I really, I really enjoy their facial animations. Actually, all of the animations in this are delightful, as Sean would say. Good day so far in yours. As soon as I hear Enchilada, I have to think of that song from Stared Skiff. S scared Stiff. Scared Stiff. I don't think I know the song. The delights are plentiful. Sean's even like, I'll play a side scroller for this. It's really embarrassing for our family. At least he's not getting stuck in a statue. Too soon? Too soon. I don't know if you guys heard about that. Some paper mache bull? Dinosaur? Whale? Something like that? Somebody like climbed in its mouth to take a picture of its inside, dropped his phone, and then fell in and died after two days? Or it took a while to find him. I don't know how people didn't hear him yelling from the inside. Um. Okay, let's go on an adventure. Go on an adventure. Let me see if I can find this. Guys dies inside a dinosaur. Yeah, first person to be killed by a dinosaur in hundreds of thousands of years. Spanish dinosaur statue. Here we go. Apparently, this is the dinosaur. It's paper mache dinosaur. Police in Catalina are investigating the death of a man who thought to become trapped inside a large dinosaur while trying to retrieve his mobile phone. See? See? Oh yeah, you have your phone! Oh my god, see. You're right. You're right. So much for delightful, yeah. I was watching your stream earlier today. I could not say hi because I was aware. Yeah, no worries. Um, officers were called to the statue, satellite town of Barcelona. Um, after a man and his son noticed something inside the paper mache Stegosaurus. Spokeswoman for the regional police force, uh, the mo yeah, blah, 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 um, said the death of the 39 year old man was not being treated as suspicious. We've already raised like five red flags. Uh, the father and son noticed that there was something inside and raised an alarm found a body of a man inside the leg of this dinosaur. This dinosaur? Oh no, did he get in? This can't be the right dinosaur. It cannot be that dinosaur. Press one seat, not two. Um. This is an advertisement. Swipes right. Uh, we're still waiting on autopsy results. 
So, no. Oh. I need more. We we need more information than that. So it was this. Oh wow. Okay. So that dinosaur is huge. So he fell down in here. Okay, this thing's huge. How'd you even get up there? Uh, noticing a f oh, oh no. Do you think like maybe he 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 hopped in, um, and then fell down head first, just kind of tumbled in? This is, this is like I I'm, I'm not making fun of this exactly. It is super unfortunate and it sucks that somebody died, but man, man. This article is why we can't have nice things. Um, every warning label you've ever seen um, is because of something very unfortunate and probably dumb. Sad. He's gone missing, but can't be far. I swear I can hear him. Uh, if you find him, let me know. I want you. I want your... Lady, I want your chests. Both of them. Please. He said out loud on the internet. Do I have money now? No, no. Uh-oh. And we humans do rather risky things all the time, it seems. He has a toilet on his head! What the hell is there a toilet on his head? What are you looking at? Uh, you think you can make fun of Elban- Albania? Oh, special move, the toilet flush. How fortunate for you on a day like today that you get to meet Senor Moore. You could say that I love to beat my opponents into a pulp. I am lost, techless. Del Mago. When I'm in the ring, you'll see nothing but magic. I'm Hernando. I own the local watering hole. Hernando's. The bar is locked up right now. Basement renovations. But I'll reopen soon, and when I do, I'll have an especial promotion. Luchadors get 50% off. You can call us Lunchadors. I've decided to become an amateur treasure hunter. I'll let you know if I find any. Why? Why would you do that? Um, uh, where'd I go? Find the combo chick. El Banyo Def Babyface. Me, me Gusta Guavas? Oh boy. Where is, um, what do you think this is? Oh, that's her house. Oh! Don't mind if I do. So about this one? That one must be locked. Neat. Isabella's kitchen. So she needs cheese. Um... Hello. Oh, beans. Your beans. I'm like, did we go all the way over here? Yeah, okay, block. No. Cheese lady was somewhere. Gotta run, good luck. See you, Sean. This is Cheese Guy, isn't it? No. No, that's... Are you Cheese? Ah, what? You need this cheese for the chef? World's biggest enchilada, you say? Oh, sure, take it. I hope it helps. You got enchilada, agree. When you get cheese so big, you levitate off the ground. That's all I have to say. It's 
some airy cheese. So, wait, hold on. Was it her? It was horrible. No. <laughs> I can't do it. Are you? Thinking your precious little tortillas. Who are you? The chicken thief has been terrorizing Santa Lucita for years. Everyone in town has reported small items missing from their homes. Where, where did all this come from? I missed this earlier. Our band has been spread all over. Okay, find our lost member. Sure, without him we cannot begin our East Coast tour. Okay. That's a praying mantis fighting a beetle. That kid has black eyes. Okay. Anyways, what's this? I think I have to come up from the bottom there. I can listen to the soundtrack all day. Yeah, it is amazing. Hello! Don't mind that chicken. A large fighting chicken lives in a house nearby. He says he was trained by a goat. Hello, I didn't even see him there. Kidnapping? Hey, I need a drink. I think Kalaka took the president's daughter to the Temple of Rain, just up the hill west of here. Okay, that's where that... Hello. I'm... Carlos... Oh, why? Okay, yeah. Um, used to be a real person years ago, sure. Um... Ooh, I didn't see that this door was open. I am the great combo chick and welcome to my dojo. Here we go. Hey, Toxic Shade, how are you doing? I really enjoyed I need to go back and watch the second half of your Between Two Beards talk today. But um, Toxic Shade was over at Haggard's channel um, doing his Between Two Beards special episode. Um, you can find a VOD there. Shout. Yeah, thanks for the... And Seek, would you shout out Haggard Hessian's channel so people can go watch that? So Between Two Beards is something that Seeky Wisdom and Haggard Hessian put on um, to talk to small streamers about streaming on a very saturated, 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 saturated Twitch platform. Um, I had the honor of being their very first guest, so I'm very invested in the show. But also this weekend, um... Lady Ganga, myself, and Bearded Bogle um, are going to be doing a roundtable discussion about I don't know what. Or not this weekend, sorry. Monday. Monday. 11 a.m. Pacific time. So if you can be there, you should. You have Hagger to follow. I am really a fan of the show. It's, it's fun. Fun, silly, and informative. But yeah, I need to go. I need to go and watch the second half of Toxic Shade because I had to go grab a shower. You know. But it's nice to see you here. Thanks for being here, Toxic Shade. All right, I am the great Tom Combo Chicken. Welcome to my dojo. If you expect to take on Kalaka uh, and learn and the forces of evil, you need mu you have much to learn. Ooh. Let's get started with your basic three-hit combo, Poncho. 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 Oh, oh, okay. We were calling somebody. Perfect. Poncho, say hello, Luchador. I'm about to get punched, aren't I? Yep. I'm not sounding that out. Actually, I am. Argolarth. There we go. Argolarth pound at. Exclaim. Joe McGuy! I've been lurking for hours playing Civ, but I hope everyone's having a great day. Thanks for lurking, Joe. Toxic Shade is a champion. There's so much I learned from him today, and so much more I once learned. Nice. My wife also loves civilization. Did I make a whole sentence there? I think I did. I feel like I feel like I just said I like planes. Or I like turtles, just full dirt. Uh, what? Yes, yes. You'll be paid more once the demonstration is over. Okay, go for it. So, he's a robot, right? 
Bop, bop, bop. Bonk. Not bad, not bad. Your basic three hit combo can also be performed in the air. Take it away, Poncho. Argolar. At hand. Hazard pay. This one. Nongo. Hits like a pussycat. Uh, now get to work. Perform a luchador lift. This allows you to continue your combo in the air. Bop, 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 bop. Here we go. That one's a little tougher. Form a rooster uppercut. Yeah, I know. That seems unnecessary when I could just do it on the ground. You know what I mean? Guaca Havoc. Hey, Warlock. How's your day going? Now combine the Luchador Lift and the upper into a devastating combo. So like, oh my god. That, I understand that I did it correctly on the first try, but I'm never doing that again. That just seems like so much work. <laughs> Excellent, now wasn't that easy. There are some of the best people on the entire internet that hang around these parts. Seriously? You guys you guys are all of the hype. It's amazing. You had to order a burrito. Yeah, we're we're trying to figure out what we're gonna have. Um tonight. Oh. Probably gonna be wrapping it up pretty soon. My back is getting stiff. I'm hoping by next week my back's whatever's whatever's muscles pulled or whatever is uh uh, gonna be rested. That would be great. Um, for those that weren't here earlier, I am not doing tonight's extra stream, which was, you know, gonna be starting Star Wars Force Commander. Um, uh, hey, Whoopi. I'm gonna take a couple more nights to, to deal with my back and just do the one hour stream. But I'll be back tomorrow at 2 o'clock to do the one hour stream. The final one for the week, which is... There's so many monitors on my desk. Well, schedule, here we go. What is it tomorrow? Ooh! Tomorrow's actually not one that Sean picked. It's one I added, because I want to revisit it very badly. Um, and it's Freedom Fighters from the Hitman 2 developers and EA. Um... Freedom Fighters is sweet. I thoroughly enjoyed playing through that game long, long ago when it came out. It's got a pretty good soundtrack too, if I remember correctly. The Friday of Betrayal? Also, Freedom Fighters is one of the only other franchises out there that starts off with two Italian plumbers in New York. Fun fact. Did you play Shadowrun already? Any video game or tabletop? Um, yeah, we played Shadowrun yesterday. Oh, you're talking to Warlock, sorry. Third. How's your day going, Wolfie? Did I answer the question about the back? It's not great, but it hasn't technically gotten worse. Yeah, no, not great then, sure. Oh my god, Havoc, you suck at reading. Argolarth pound at asterisk and birds flying around this room how dare you mock my inability to Ooh. i love that it looks like this chicken is talking out of the top of his head by whoa, whoa, whoa. just going after it i've never played the original ones presto um it's not it's no lie that Yesterday, I was falling asleep reading everything that... Uh, I did not find the opening part of Shadowrun Returns engaging at all. Um, and I was just reading things and yawning. And really struggling to read. I don't know what my issue was yesterday. I feel like, past the part that we stream, the game's gonna get 
action-packed and good, right? Um, but it was it was pretty painful for me to stream because I struggle with reading lots of text. The world was really cool, though. It's a lot of text to begin. Yeah. I felt tired playing the game, too. Uh, I'm going to track down some chips. Um, what am I being doing? ISO games have a lot of re... Well, yeah. Um, cool. Apple, will you get the round ones? I'm anti-triangles today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll make our own nachos or something, I don't know. We should definitely eat that lettuce before it goes bad. What do we need to make tacos in the bag? Um, taco meat, lettuce, burritos, or Doritos. Hmm. I'm not sure what I want. Definitely has tortilla chips, though. Good luck. Thanks. Yep. Yeah, uh, yeah, pretty bad. Apple Stream. Uh, ISO games have a lot of reading, at least the ones you've played. See, when I think of Quintet, when I think of ISO games, I think of twin stick shooters, um, which are my absolute favorite kind of video game. You know, where he's having. I love text in games, but sometimes I struggle when playing Cormac Tides of Numeric. So that's a game that I want to play. I just. ISO RPG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, Friday stream? Last Friday? I know I sat in this chair way too long. Um, probably That's probably what got my back all tweaked up. Uh, but, freaking Firefight, man. Oh, that game was so good. That was an amazing stream. Like, really was an amazing stream. I'm glad we beat the game. I'm glad we didn't, like, hit a point, like, during that escort thing down the river where I had to, like, give up or something. It was so good. I'm actually, you know, like, it's not often that you finish a game and you're like, I want to go again. <laughs> but I do. That game was fantastic. Which is such a relief after wanting to play it for, like, over 27 years or something like that. So I've actually got Torment, Tides of Numenera, and a lot, basically any of those uh, Boulder's Gate, Icewind, Dale, whatever games, on my phone. Um, and I've been wanting to, I've been saving them for airplane trips, because I figured they'd be the perfect game, you know, on uh, intercontinental flights, which I'm planning to do in the near future. But yeah, Boulder's Gate. Planescape Torment. That's the one that's on here. You can't get them anymore, but I also have Tomb Raider 1 and 2 on mobile, which is awesome. I also have Knights of the Old Republic on mobile. Where would you like to travel to? Real talk. <laughs> that took a second. I didn't think it was going to go. Uh, My list right now? So, I know I'm going to um, Alabama for a big concert, Furnace Fest, um, in the fall with uh, my band's old singer. Uh, my first place I want to go out of the country is the Netherlands. Because I want to hang out with Bearded Bogle and Fish Hands 92. That, um, that's the first trip. I wouldn't mind going to Australia. There's some cool people down there, too. Um, I'd like to go to France. Um, England. There's a lot of places I want to go. As much as I want to go to Russia, I don't really have a reason to go to Russia other than I want to see Moscow. 
It just doesn't seem like it's a great time for an American to go hang out in Russia. <laughs> Havoc travel talk? Yeah. Brazil? Pro yeah. I just, lots of, there's people that I've met this year that I want to visit so badly. Like, even if it's just for, like, you know, let's hang out in your city for a night or something, you know? Um, I mean, it's a huge list. It's going to be expensive, all this traveling, but... Um, also, it's going to depend on what my back does. Because it was really good for so long. My sitting's a, city is as boring as it gets. Hey, Nate, how are you? I'd love to have you one day. Wolfie, one day we will hang out. I promise you that. To Pax... Pax U. What's Pax U? I know what Pax is. We need to meet one day on Twitch Con or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Pax Unplugged. What's that? Do I, is Pax Prime the one up here in Seattle? Or is that Pax West? I can't remember which one Prime is. Oh, 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 I see why it's unplugged. This sounds like great location. I don't even have it in Paris. Make sure to find a place with the bottomless steaks and palm frites. French fries, yeah. Uh, Prime is West, yeah. I've been I've been threatening to take Chester Mammoth to fly him out here and go to Pax Prime. That's that's been that's been on my list of places I want to I want to do I want to go, but it didn't work out since we moved out here. Between job and anxiety, which I've mostly shaken. Shook the job and the anxiety, actually. Turns out they were connected. <laughs> because working with um, drug addicts is not always the best way to take care of yourself. Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Yeah, so that's going to be next year, not this year. Um, and I'm planning on anybody that wants to come hang out at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. I'm literally like one city over, like one state line over from Portland. Like Vancouver and Portland are just separated by a river. Um, and I will absolutely meet anybody that wants to hang out down there. Like, yeah, whatever. We could like rent out an entire block of um, a hotel or something. But September, uh, next year. Um, but yeah, it'll be... It'll be like September. They're not doing it this year. I checked. But I really am. I'm hoping to like anybody that wants to come hang out at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. They, All the collectors and arcades from the area bring in all their machines um, and turn off the quarters. So it's a free cade. Um, and then, you know, there's sellers selling stuff. There's speakers. Cool people to meet. Um, like I've listened to 8-Bit Guy, you know, twice and met Matt Yulman and got some stuff signed, my Diablo vinyls, whatnot. Next year I'm going to Scotland. That's nice. You've never played on an actual arcade machine. Damn. Alright, fair enough. Kill two birds with one stone. Oh yeah, no, traveling is about like optimizing and maximizing um your uh your locations, even though that becomes a little stressful after a faction. Have you played much tabletop deck games? Maybe. Um. So, well, I. It's tough with a bad back for me to like hunch over a table and roll dice and whatnot. So I've largely avoided them. Um. Because that's just it's not like that's what you're supposed to. It's just what I end up doing, and it's painful. Um. I did have what I thought was a great game, my first game of Dungeons and Dragons going. And then the guy that was running it had a severe mental break. Um, I don't want to throw his shit out there, but when I say severe, it involved the FBI and the Secret Service, so I haven't played Dungeons and Dragons since then. 
I laughed, but it was really sad. Oh man, it really, really was really sad. Um, yeah. Anyways, so I, I haven't. We have, obviously that campaign's over, and we'll never get resumed. But that was like right at the beginning of COVID, anyways. So it would have been stopped in, in, you know, regardless. Um. Yeah. I would like to play more and probably online, honestly. Online campaigns are the way to go. Yeah, I kind of agree with I I mean I think they would be. Um I'm still like I've got a box of right here is like the starter kit of Numenara. And that's the one that I would love to get into because Um I like its setting more than I like, you know, the high fantasy stuff. Um but I'm also not against doing local stuff. Yeah. You have a friend who runs the Numenar games. See, and I'd be a total beginner, right? Um, I think most people would, honestly. But yeah, does that answer your question? Short running of Numenar online? I'd love that. I really would love that. I know there's a channel in Fractal Mind Mike's Discord uh, where there's a little bit of discussion about that. And I think that would be awesome. I figure I figure if we could we could use Fractal My Mike's Discord to talk about that rather than me open an opposing channel. Um Let me uh let me get a link. Well here's here's my Discord one. Anybody that wants to come hang out there, do that. Let me grab a link to Fractal Fractal Mind Mike's Discord. Um Hopefully it's okay that I just invite a bunch of people to his Discord, but I'm sure he won't mind. Because he's really he does have an awesome Discord too. But he's got like a role here. I will just make a link to his rule page. That seems appropriate. There you go. Here's here's Mike's Discord. But that's where that conversation's happening. Cool. He's like lurking, being like, Havoc, why? <laughs> Um, you know, I think I'm going to call it for today, since we've been just chatting anyways. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming to hang out. Seriously, thank you so much. You guys really do, like, this is my favorite thing in the entire world. Uh, and I get up more excited every day to come hang out with you guys and play games. So late to the show. I mean, I, yeah, I've been going. I've been going for a bit. We've been here two hours, and I just, I need to get off my spine. Um, and stretch it out a bit, put a heat pack on. Um, let's find somebody to raid. Get well soon. Thank you. Thank you for that backlog. Uh, sorry, hang on. I gotta message my wife back before we move on to anything else. Okay. Glad I at least come by and say hi. Uh, thanks for the stream. This was fun. Yeah, don't miss tomorrow. I mean, do what you want to do, of course. But I'm really excited to, to revisit um, Freedom Fighters. I think that's such a cool game. Okay, let's see here. Who we raided recently? We raided Retro Militia recently. We raided Epic Android recently. Um, <clears throat> Rat707. We haven't... I don't think I've ever raided her. Um, She's doing Revenge of Shinobi on old school hardware. How do you guys feel about that? She's entertaining? Yeah, I figured you'd know her, because she's from Rat's Awesome. Alright, it sounds like we're going to Rat. Awesome. I don't think I've ever gotten to raid her. She is awesome. Okay. 
There, we got that started up. I love Ret- no. <laughs> Damn it, Seek. Alright, guys, thank you so much. I love you all, and I will see you tomorrow. I'll also be hanging out around Twitch tonight. You know, I'm- so, I'm sitting with a heat pack, and I'm kind of playing Cyberpunk 2077. And all I've got is my phone, and there's all these streams to hang out in, so I can't multi-tab. So, I'm going to be popping around tonight. Just, you know, if I show up in your stream, just, I'm going to be multiple places, because there's just so many cool people to hang out with. Um, you guys understand, right? Great. Have a great night. Um, enjoy. I know you all are ordering Mex Mexican food right now. <laughs> enjoy it. I'll see you later. <laughs> My Russian team, not Russian friends. Welcome.